Welcome to a spring reset routine. Today, there's so much to tackle and yet I have a flight in just a few hours, so let's try to accomplish as much as possible together. If you've watched my videos before, I'm a really big fan of multitasking and for some reason, when I put masks in my hair while I'm cleaning, it makes me feel like I'm multitasking. Multi-masking, if you will, I don't know. But this is one of my favorite masks I get from TJ Maxx and I just apply it in my hair. Usually, I wet my hair. I don't know why I didn't do that this time. But yes, I clip it up, keep my hair out of my face, and we gotta get started with the cleaning. My favorite multitasking thing is to do laundry while I'm cleaning other things around the house. So we're taking the sheets off the bed. I'm actually flying back to Philadelphia. And if you don't know, my boyfriend recently had to get a place down in Florida for work. And so we've been slowly furnishing it with Facebook Marketplace and just all this stuff. So it's kind of like a mismatched place, but I really love it. And I came down to visit my boyfriend because he was working here. And then surprisingly, he has to actually fly back to Philly for work. So he's been gone for a few days and it's my birthday tomorrow. And we initially thought he was going to come to Florida, but it looks like the situation switched. So now I have to fly today to Philadelphia. Every morning, I I start my day by feeding my cat and also letting him watch the neighborhood animals. There's two squirrels that absolutely love coming up to the glass. I guess the person who lived here before us fed them and yes, Mishka has gotten his toys absolutely everywhere. If he could help, he probably should. But there's just been so much that needs to get done around the house and there's so much that's been stressing me, especially around like tax season and everything. I don't know why, but this time of year always stresses me, so I just really need a good reset. I've always had anxiety about my finances. Maybe it's because so little of it was taught to us growing up, but they don't need to be scary. I plan on buying or leasing a car later this year, so I'm facing my fears and focusing on my finances. Last year was actually the first time that I started budgeting and keeping a closer eye on my spending habits and savings and like all that jazz. With unexpected emergencies and the rising cost of living expenses, I'm just trying to make the best choices and smart decisions to to like both accomplish what I need now and also keep my future needs in mind. Since you need a good credit score and a good credit history to lease an apartment or car and get approved for a mortgage or get better rates on loans, this is the time to clean things up, which is why I'm excited to introduce you to Empower, today's sponsor. Empower is a money management app that was built to help everyday Americans stretch their dollars between paychecks, save more money, and get their finances on track. They want to make sure everyone has the access to financial help wherever they are in their financial journey. One of my favorite features, and that's the one they'll be helping me out with my credit journey, is their newest line of credit, Empower Thrive. With credit being more important than ever and your credit score being a major factor in a lot of your major financial decisions, Empower Thrive can help you when you need it most and help you build that positive credit history no matter your credit score. Thrive starts you with a $200 to $400 credit line that can grow up to $1,000 with regular limit increases with on-time payments. Thrive is meant to fit your lifestyle. Repay your way for your best chance to make on-time payments with their flexible payment plans. And with those on-time payments, you get the chance of building positive credit history. No money down, no hard credit pulls, and all credit scores welcome. Empower doesn't judge solely on your credit score. They want to give everyone the opportunity to build positive credit history. So they look into your connected bank accounts on their app to look at real-time cash flow. So think your income, expenses, bills, etc. to understand how responsible you are today. Another great thing is that you have instant access to your credit limit once approved and can deposit it right into your bank account. If you feel like you or someone you know can benefit, apply for Thrive today with the link below and start building the credit history you deserve. All right, now time to go upstairs and tackle the thing that I've been avoiding for so long. It's the bathroom. There's just so many products here and we I've never had a vanity this long. It was actually quite, quite a lot of wiping, I gotta say. So... Um, a lot of products that I brought down from Philly, I kind of just left on the counters instead of putting them away. The thing that this house very much needs is like an organizing system. Like in Philly, in our house, I've been I've been really working on, you know, making sure there's drawers and, and little plastic containers and things, but they're all so expensive. And so, because we don't know, like, just the, how long we're going to need this place for my boyfriend's job like it can change at any point i don't want to invest too much in like a lot of things that's why i'm trying to get things from facebook marketplace and just bringing things from philly that i already have um but it just makes organizing really tough because you're just kind of throwing everything into the abyss which is what the cabinet under my sink looks like but i had to take all these products off and yes my boyfriend has a very extensive skincare and hair care routine <laughs> love that for him Something I learned is that my boyfriend and I have very different styles of cleaning, so he is very much 
Hollywood clean where he cleans like the tops and the surfaces and like he puts things away he's very minimal like he doesn't really have too many items but I have grown up being like the deep clean type of person where I can be cluttered I can have a lot of stuff I can have clothes that is clean laundry on the bed but I will deep clean the heck out of the place there won't be dust there won't be cobwebs and so I think the both of us balance it out very well but since he's been gone I've just haven't taken the opportunity to really deep clean and so taking all this stuff off the counter really made me realize how uh how much stuff I had on my side and the vanity was in the middle so like there was there was a lot of stuff that was mine but wiping it all down made me feel so happy because I've been wanting to clean it for just a bit and don't you worry Mishka has been helping me all throughout this entire process actually Mishka was the reason why I was getting so stressed like whenever I get anxious or nervous I always clean I don't know if you know this about me but it's a fun fact so cleaning before a flight really does actually help me relax um but Mishka is one of the reasons why I stress so much because usually I'm not so overwhelmed by like the thought of going through security and everything just like that's the only part that really like gets me but when you travel with a cat like it's unpredictable how the cat's gonna behave even though Mishka has behaved very well and I pretty much know what he likes and doesn't like on the plane what's unpredictable for me is how strict and how just kind of like hovering the flight attendants are because some of them like don't really care what's going on sometimes if Mishka is acting out and like scratching at his case I just leave the case on my lap while we're in flight and then put him down for landing and takeoff but some flight attendants require that like the case is under the seat the entire flight so it kind of just depends and I know that it's I think regulations to keep them underneath the seat but he's escaped cases three times now so this is the fourth case that we have for him and finally it's been holding thank god but we've also been lucky that we've been able to just keep him in our lap inside the case like he doesn't leave the case he's always inside the case but i'm just holding the case in my lap instead of him being underneath my feet especially when there's nobody on the flight because i've been taking some really early flights and let me tell you nobody's flying to florida at 4 a.m so anyways yeah life has been just lifing lately um on the other hand i absolutely adore my nine to five i don't know if i like really sat down and talked to you guys about this in a while actually it's been tough trying to balance content creation and also my nine to five because as much as i am working from home like i very much respect like the nine to five schedule situation so if i am filming i'm filming on weekends and i'm filming after work or before work and it's very um easy to film that but then finding the time to edit it is kind of a struggle but then also on weekends sometimes obviously like being in a relationship having family and also traveling between like two places and trying to figure all that out for the past five months it's just been um, a lot because you have very limited amount of extra time right so i'm sorry if i've been kind of mia on youtube i'm trying my best to get back into it um it's been pretty easy for me lately to be creating like tiktoks and shorter content so if you want to catch up with me i am posting on tiktok right now relatively regularly kind of like these mini vlogs so if you want to follow me it's i am just olina but i don't know i'm kind of thinking of a certain series that i want to do here on youtube um kind of like a living your life vlogs type vibe i don't know i feel like my screen time has been ridiculous lately because i will get into bed at like 7 30 8 o'clock sometimes 8 30 okay i'm i'm being a little bit crazy i went to bed at 7 30 yesterday but my usual bedtime is like 8 39 but the thing is i get into bed but then i start playing my game homescapes and i also start reading I am on like the third book of the Akatar series and I just like spend time in bed. Right now we're watching George Lopez with my boyfriend and like I love that show and I was watching The Nanny, I've been watching SWAT, like I just spend time in bed <laughs> and it's just, I need to be better. Like my screen time really accumulates at that point and then in the morning too. I'll go and make my coffee and I'll swipe through TikTok or Instagram reels and it's like you don't need to be doing that while you're making your coffee like you can just stand there and look at the coffee pot like you don't need to be entertained 24 7 and yeah i'm just really concerned for my 
my attention span. Something I've been doing a lot lately has been these like heatless curls and they work really well overnight and I decided to do it right before the flight which I had probably like two hours before I had to leave and my hair was still slightly damp from blow drying it and I was like no this is gonna work out this is gonna look so good and it did something okay it did something but you'll see shortly it didn't do the thing we wanted it to do um so yeah probably best to wear these a little bit longer than two hours just in case you do get them these are from kitsch kitched kitched i got it off amazon but yeah i ended up ordering Am um amazon oh my gosh i'm getting confused here i ended up ordering chipotle because i didn't want to do any kind of dishes or anything that is something that would have stressed me out so i was like you know what let's just get ourselves a good chipotle salad um also my question is what do you order at chipotle because everyone always laughs at my order but when they try it they actually like it and i feel like left out and i wonder if anybody else gets a salad bowl so look at my hair you see what i'm talking about like it didn't do what we wanted it to do it kind of did but like something's off and it's because the hair's still wet but i packed my bags i got everything i grabbed my sweater because i knew i was going to be cold on the plane and then I forgot the sweater, so we showed up at the airport and I ended up buying a sweatshirt, but I was so excited to head back to Philly because that meant that I would be able to spend my birthday with my family as well, and yeah, I had a great birthday, so thank you to all of you who wished me a happy birthday on Instagram. I love you guys so much. We like basically grew up together, so I'll be back with more content. Just tell me what it is that you guys want to see from me. Love you. Bye.